you so much and I want to plead with you that if you don't know what your picture is, you must be your mouth.
have nothing but wickedness inside of us. He can take us from darkness into light, from death into life, and give us peace which surpasses all understanding. He will save your soul, ladies and gentlemen, but you have to call upon his name. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. He is a beacon of hope in the night, the eternal hope and salvation of all mankind. It's a message of love, not condemnation. It's a love story that Jesus loved you so much that while you were still yet a sinner, Christ died for you. And then he loves you so much, but he has commanded all men everywhere to repent. And then if you repent for your sin, if you go to him, ask him to forgive you and put his spirit inside of you, that he will save you and you will have the promise that no matter what happens, he will not leave you nor forsake you, that he will give you the promise of eternal life with him as an adopted child of the living God. He will give you peace that's you, so you can boldly approach the throne of grace and ask for whatever you need and he will be faithful to take care of you. He is a, a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He is a mighty God and he loves you, but you got to love him back. You cannot reject God and yet expect him to answer your prayers. Don't rebel against Jesus anymore. The sin of this life, it might taste delicious to your flesh, but it ends in destruction. But he said, if you walk in the spirit of God with grace, we're saved by grace through faith. If you walk in the spirit of God, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all unrighteousness. So I'm asking you today, ask him to forgive you for your, for your sins. Confess with your mouth that he's Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. I would love to talk to anybody out here and pray with you so that you can know today that if you get gunned down on the other side of the street, if you get run over by the bus, whatever might happen, you can have that assurance knowing that God can change you. You can have that assurance that if you die, you will reign with Jesus Christ. It's not one prayer that's going to save you, but if you surrender your heart today, He will put His Spirit inside of you and give you new direction, hope, and a future. And so I'm asking you, please, if you want to talk to me, I would love to talk to you. I would love to pray with you. Today is the day of your salvation. Don't put it off to tomorrow because you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. God bless you and I love you. And it's a message of love.